Yo, what is going on guys? This is Swerve here and today I'm going to be bringing you another Jurassic World Evolution video. Now, in today's Jurassic World Evolution video, as you can see, loading up into Isla Pena, I am going to be showing you how to 5 star this island. As you can see, I've built on it a lot and it does look quite snazzy. Um, so basically, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, obviously, I've already built on all of it and everything like that. So um, basically, I'm just going to talk you through what I did. So firstly, it was the entrance. I needed to change the entrance because I already know you, you're going to need at least three uh, medium or two medium sized power stations and a small power station to power everything. Um, so what I did, I morphed the path and everything like that and put in a medium power station next to the small power station. And I also wanted to get a monorail station in so I can then well, basically go across the whole park and get my rating up uh, with the facility rating. I believe on transport rating, let's, let's get up. So yeah, it's not five star at the moment, but as you can see, I have unlocked it at five star. Um, yeah, so basically my transport rating was really, is re still really high actually, mainly because it's by the entrance. Then where you wanted to put it um, is right here. And then you want to put uh, the restaurant, the clothes shop and the arcade and possibly a fast food restaurant just to actually make your drink uh, rating go up as well. And then what I did, I just built like a little plaza just to fill up the space that I have there. Um, so ignore everything, pretend this is all scratch, ignore everything. So uh, what I also wanted to do was um, build this up. I needed to build this up as good as I can, make sure I take up all of this room. So I managed to put in my research station, expedition, ranger station, ACU, fossil center, and also put storm defense because these um, things are very important. So if they get attacked by a storm, then that's it, your your part goes to hell. So, oh, Sukumar is complete, yay. <laughs> so basically, um, you also want to put... After putting the monorail station, you'll want to put your emergency shelter. I believe I may have changed the path um, just to match this enclosure. I'll talk about that later. But yeah, you want to put emergency shelter just because you're going to have a carnivore breeding in this preset exhibit here. Uh, so yeah, basically put down emergency, emergency shelter there because you buy all of these um, shopping centers and all of that. So you want to keep them safe. And yeah, so then it moves on to down here. As you can see, I have my Tyrannosaurus Rex in here, who is a rating of 697. So, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an old dinosaur. Um, but what I first uh, bred here were two Baryonyxes. Baryonyxes. Yes, you may have to wait to actually get your money going in first. So you might want to put like a Struthermimus just to get your um, part going. But I, I was able to put the Baryonyx in. And uh, basically, it was a 1.9 million Baryonyx, I believe. And it was 157 rating. So, yeah. Uh, I had two Baryonyxes in this exhibit and they were just fine roaming about everything like that. But then I started on one of the missions. I can't exactly remember what mission it is because there's two missions where you need uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So when I started, I think it was either security or entertainment, one of those two. When I did that, I then uh, decided to build a little pen for the Baryonyx on the side so it was easy to just tranquilize them. Let's sort this out quickly. Sorry about this. Confirming task. But yeah, so I built this little pen around here and um, it was nice, it was suited for the Baronyx. Currently I have nothing in there because my Baronyx has quite frankly just died. So yeah, um, this was a perfect size for the Baronyx. Everything was just really nice, it was perfect size. I had um, dinosaur visibility was going up because of this view, uh, viewing gallery. The carnival feeder and the watering hole just here as well and a nice little forest uh, that met its needs. So. After I did the Baryonyx, I wanted to make sure I was getting um, stuff in here. Thank you, George, for interrupting me. Lovely. Right, who's dead now? Oh, no! Oh, in this recording, really? No, you have to be kidding me. How old was she? 94, 94. <gasps> no! Oh, you're kidding me. Well... Bye bye T Rex. <laughs> Not gonna get five stars now, but I'll sort that out later. So yeah, um, whilst the Baryonyxes, oh, no, whilst the Baryonyxes were in here in this preset exhibit, I wanted to make sure I was getting guests down here. So I managed to put a monorail station and then put also put um, the arcade, clothes shop, and restaurant. Basically, the free stop shops that you need. I put them down there, so um, it was right by an attraction and they can bring in some money and all of that, so I was bringing in money. Currently, these shops up here weren't bringing in anything because I had no exhibits here, like you see these three exhibits, I had no exhibits there, so yeah, that needed to be sorted out and um, I sorted out later on. So again, I bred my T-Rex, put my Baryonyx in here and that was about it for now, and then I let the money go up and up and up and then I put a hotel. 
So when I put the hotel, that increased my facility rating and it also increased my guest count. Having it increased my guest count actually made the park um, jump from three stars to four stars really quickly. So at this point, I only did one mission and I had four stars remaining. Uh, no, four stars on the belt. So um, what I uh, next did was uh, create this herbivore exhibit. What you want to do is basically create a little sanctuary area sort of thing from your uh, incubation center or hammer creation lab whatever it is uh, you'll have to incubate uh, your dinosaurs and um, it was just like a little box at the moment I already planned out that I wanted Deinonychus and Metri here but it was like a little box and then it also had herbivores what I did I made um, some Struthiomimuses and Montosaurus and Triceratops simply because those are the three dinosaurs that breed really quick and, or no not breed incubate really quick and then you're able to put them in and make some more money whilst also putting a viewing gallery what i recommend is actually putting a viewing gallery in this corner first and then build around uh, the the border because it just makes your life easier so then i incubated all of this and i went on to the science mission i think it is yeah the science mission and then i already knew what the science mission was i knew what i was getting myself into so i was like right so i need a deinonychus exhibit and metric emphasis exhibit it would make sense to put a deinonychus here and also put a metric here because that way if the deinonychus break out it's only going to break out over here and if it does it'll go into the herbivores which it can't kill and the metric which it can't kill so it makes sense to keep it there if it does break out Word of advice, during any mission, during the whole Jurassic World Evolution campaign, always put um, your emergency shelters on. I know it'll probably get rid of your facility rating, but it'll, it'll grow really fast if you get it right. Um, because that way, you're, if, I think it's like if five de guests die, then the mission is pretty much over and you fail. So... Bloody hell, I'm talking a lot and my jaw hurts. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to build around it. I knew that Deinonychus needed free... Um, three of its kind in um oh, oh no i don't want to rename it thank you very much it needed three deinonychi uh so, is that a word deinonychi i don't know i don't care um so i bred the three deinonychus first because it was easier it needed four gallimimuses and then after that i bred the gallimimuses and then it needed a metric amphosaurus and i put the metric amphosaurus in there and then i also put oh excuse me and then last but not least, I actually put the three Chasmosauruses. It requires two, but you need three for social need. So I put the three uh, Chasmosauruses in there. And then, yeah, so I managed to pass that mission. With also the Deinonychus being fine with that. And you may be wondering, oh, your metric source and Deinonychus have to be in the same thing. What you can do is simply just open this gate and then close the gate straight away because it will tick it straight away saying that they've been enclosed with each other. So that way you pass the science mission quite easily whilst also maintaining uh, being able to put viewing galleries and everything like that. I think the reason why I bent this path was to put a viewing gallery here so you can actually view the metric canvasauruses. At the end of the day it is only easy to pen, so you're not really looking for the best aesthetic aesthetic sorry <laughs> you're not looking for the best aesthetic looking parks but you still want to make it look just as nice and manage to get your facility rating up. So the only way I could pretty much um, fit something in here was to put a viewing platform. Putting a viewing platform in increased my um, dinosaur visibility because not only did it go um, through the Deinonychus, it also went to the herbivores here. So uh, seeing the herbivores was easy. But my dinosaur visibility was still low, so what I did, I simply just bent this track round so it was getting here because there was a I put a herbivore feeder right here in the middle just so they didn't all combine and go straight here you know what i mean so when the transport rating uh, goes up also does the dinosaur visibility simply because you're going above it so another way um at this point in time when i did i think it was either security or entertainment division um what i did okay my the bloody out a draft on the door <laughs> i don't know if you heard that but what i did i simply had my t-rex running about in here before she just died and then i also had another t-rex that needed for the mission where i sent him away and um loaned out the dinosaur i also put him in there uh you also needed the ceratosaurus for that mission so what i originally did i built this enclosure before the mission and then i um, put two ceratosauruses in and i was like oh crap can it survive free so i googled it and yes the ceratosaurus can survive free so i basically put uh, the ceratosaurus in here and um put the viewing platform and the viewing gallery facing uh, here because as you can see there you go it's pretty much covering the whole exhibit so that's good and then the same with the baryonics like this one here in the middle um, can fill the baryonics corner here as well so 
it's basically showing you perfectly everything that you need and um, yeah so after that I was like oh crap where do I put the T-Rex is going to come back to me so before I put the gigas in here uh, this was the T-Rex exhibit I was originally going to put sauropods in here and I was like wait the brachiosaurus needs more space but the diplodocus can survive it I believe it does work perfectly with the diplodocus as well or diplodocus however you want to pronounce it bloody hell and then um, yeah so I just put the T-Rex in here for now and I think yeah it was giga yeah, Gigo one and um, combat infamy is 134 because it killed the t-rex that was in here because i mean you may as well get something out of it so yeah i put the t-rex in there for the meantime and then simply just worked my way around at this point i hit five stars way before way before the uh, the last mission with the security i think it is and uh, if you see all these little toy shops or the bar in it or bowling alley um basically i only put them down because i need to get contracts and everything like that so yeah that's <laughs> I probably spoke a little bit fast, but that's how you uh, five star Isla Pena. Um, it's quite challenging at first. I'll let you guys know that. But if you just copy the way I did, so put all your stuff that you need here, such as ACU expedition, all of that here, and then um, make sure you have a shopping center here, not too far away from um, the entrance, and sort of build a monorail track. Originally, it didn't go all the way there; it just went like that, really. So as long as you do the shopping center thing, sort of as I said like build a plaza it's really nice it looks nice and you get nice little lights here as well look at those little lights on the on the path I never re re even realized that so yeah you want to do that and then don't really build anything here focus on this little exhibit put uh, something like a cheap uh, carnivore such as baryonyx metric avasaurus ceratosaurus anything like that you want to put them here and then um, when you do the T-Rex mission, any T-Rex mission, put the T-Rex in here, move the Baronix to an um, exhibit like this. Perfect. I want to say now, this is a perfect exhibit. Any smaller and the Baronix would have gone crazy. Any more forest, it would have gone crazy. Any less gra grassland, it would have gone crazy as well. So you want it, this little curve here does seem unnecessary, but it is necessary just to, just to increase the space for the Baronix a little bit. So um, yeah. Then you want to do that and make sure you build the hotel right opposite to the monorail station and also build shopping center next near this viewing gallery um, basically just so you can fit it in. Another emergency shelter would be nice just to make sure that the dinosaurs are going to be, oh not dinosaurs, the people are going to be safe uh, during missions. So anytime there's a mission, put the emergency shelter up and you don't have to pay for penalty fee fees or anything like that. So yeah, that's basically how to... Um, five star easy pen i hope you guys do take inspiration and guide from this i'm gonna uh release these after the recording yeah i hope you do take inspiration and guide from this uh it is quite ch challenging as i said but it's, i believe this is the best way that's ever worked for me so it's just gonna make your life easier if you do do it this way basically you're working around the missions you are getting nice facility ratings and yeah so it's not that it's not that challenging like at the moment I, you can see I'm not at 5 stars but I have hit 5 stars and I have stayed at 5 stars for a long time you don't get lo loads of guests so all you really need is one hotel and that's pretty much um, it your uh, facility rating will go up and down um, but that's that's really it really and the reason why I don't have 5 stars is what I just realised dinosaur rating has gone down because uh, Baronix and T-Rex are dead so yeah um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you guys have taken this into context and help, and it's helped you out a lot um, I'll do a quick overview I'm just moving about whilst I do this outro and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have enjoyed today's video make sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comment section if there's anything else you want um, to look at so maybe like 5 star in Math and Sarah or something like Takano, Sauna, everything like that maybe even easily nubla so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have obviously smash the like button comment if you want any more ideas or any other help and anything you are confused about for this video thank you george lambert for interrupting me right okay thanks for the money <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have obviously smash uh, the like button comment and if you're brand new channel don't forget to subscribe if you think i deserve the one so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope you guys had a wonderful day it's been swerve and peace out.